Okay, we agree to an integral from the Cal Math Meet finals number seven. We've got the integral from zero to one, natural log one over x, all to the seventh dx. Okay, I have a couple different ways to do it. I think what I wanna do first is, let's, for natural log one over x, one over x we can write as x to the minus one, and then with log properties we can bring that out front and write it as minus ln x. But keep in mind this is to the seventh power and you might not like this notation. You could actually put parentheses around it. I could write it like this. and We could write it like all to the seventh just to be more clear. So with the odd power, if we take this, if we take this all to the seventh here, what's gonna happen? It just becomes minus ln x to the seventh. So let's rewrite it that way. I'll take the minus sign out front of the integral and we just have natural log x of seven dx. And then from here, I want to do a substitution. Let's do u. See, we could do u equals ln x, but let's do it a little differently. Let's do, let's bring that minus sign back in and do u minus ln x. So just to be clear, I can probably, I can just bring this minus sign back in because of the odd power. So write it like this. Then we'll rearrange, solve for x. We'll have, I can bring the minus sign on the other side. Of the, I can write this as minus u equal to ln x. Solving for x, we get x equal e minus u dx equal to minus e minus u du. So then I'll go ahead and substitute. First, you plug a one in here. That's just gonna be zero for our u value. You plug in zero. That's gonna be minus infinity times minus. That's gonna be positive infinity. This part right here becomes u to the seventh. dx is gonna be minus e minus u du. Take the minus sign out front. But for that, let's use it to swap our balance. So I'll get rid of that and just flip this so we've got the larger number up top. But now the way we have this here, this is gonna match our definition for the gamma function. I can write, just to make it clear, I can change the exponent of seven to eight minus one. So that way our input on the gamma function is gonna be just eight. And so what we have is just gonna be, this whole thing is gonna be gamma of eight. But when it's an integer, of course you can look at it as a factorial as well. For gamma of n plus one, we have this is the same thing as n factorial. So for this, we can write it as gamma of eight or seven factorial. Expanding that out for my final solution, we just get 50, 40, and that's it. Okay, so there you go. That's my first video on one from the Caltech Math Meet. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.